Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's Terry Anna, and I have Kinnear with me right now. Dead ass right there. So we're at our granny house, well, my granny house, his great granny house, and currently we are waiting for her to get here. So we about to see. <laughs> Kinnear is being a toddler, of course. Them toddlers, I'm telling y'all now. Good luck. Charlie, it's a girl. Kinnear's the boy version of you. And if she the girl version of me, we ain't gonna have no money. <laughs> we gonna be broke. No matter how much money we have, we're going to be broke. But that's okay, because she's gonna get anything and everything she wants, just like her brother. And, and our goal as a family is to do things to put us in positions to be able to provide for us and our kids tremendously. Tremendous. Expeditionously, not nah, playing. I'll be starting school in two weeks. I don't know. If, I think I want to do like a video about my major, why I'm in that major, and what do I want to do within the major. Ooh, Jerry Danny, go for the door. I hope y'all see my toes. <sighs> he do this every time I make videos. So I'm going to start with my question and answer part first and then i'm going to go to the update first question how far along are you i am five five and a half months and this month will make my six months so in reality i really have like three more months left of being pregnant Sounds like a lot, but honestly, the days are going by pretty fast. So the time is going by fast and I'm just, you know, ready to have my baby, ready to see how she looks. How big is the baby currently? Um, I had an anatomy scan like two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, and they told me that she was 12 ounces, almost a pound. Um, now I feel like she might be a little more weight a little more because i weigh a little more shake my weight today and oh my goodness i locked him out so y'all gonna be hearing him say mama my total weight gain so far is like 15 pounds and it's five over huh i'm gonna be out in a minute it's really five pounds over my weight limit that I wanted to go, but it's going to be okay. Eventually, I'm going to start back working out. I just have to have find the time for myself, which is coming pretty soon, and you all will be able to get more videos. But yes, y'all will have videos of me working out. It won't be no hardcore working out. It's just going to be some things to get my body in shape to get my pelvis ready and my back, my legs, any part of my body, I'm trying to get ready for this natural delivery. Maternity clothes, yes, I wear maternity clothes. This here, right here, is a maternity dress and it is comfortable. I didn't have any problems with it today. I also ordered a couple of things from Shein, but my favorite place to go um, find maternity clothes is now Target because when I went there they had a lot of different options for me and I just wanted to buy everything but I only picked up a couple of things but this is actually a Target dress um, you'll see it in the thumbnail this is actually a Target dress right here it's comfortable um, what do I miss currently I'm missing sleeping on my stomach like a lot i miss sleeping on my stomach i can no longer sleep on my stomach i have to sleep on like the side of it that's okay they get me through the night sometimes um i also miss not really having an appetite because current before i found out that i was pregnant i really didn't eat as much as i do now i ate like a smoothie for breakfast and then i had like a little snack for lunch and then i ate dinner but we was mostly like turkey and chicken eaters. We didn't really eat red meat, but now I do cook with red meat. What am I looking forward to? I am looking forward for the newborn stage. I know, I know it's weird saying that, but I really love little bitty babies and I love newborn watching them grow and then you're helping them grow by giving the breastfeeding i look at my current baby now well he's not a baby but i look at my toddler now and i just be like my favorite stage was really the newborn stage really really 
this stage, the toddler stage. Yeah, that's crazy. It's my, it's one of my favorites because he's like funny. He has a, like a big personality, a big personality, and he just keep you entertained. He don't let you walk around here, you know, sad and depressed and all that. He gonna make sure he make you laugh, but sometimes he can make you cry. So just stay on the lookout for that. How's your sleep? My sleep is pretty well now. I can kind of sleep through the night and sometimes it just really depends on my day how my sleep is because like sometimes my sleep is uncomfortable and it's hot but majority of the times it's okay. I found out that when Kelvin massages me before bedtime I get a better sleep so he gonna be massaging me every single night up until the due date and also I don't wake up like a lot to go use the restroom like I did in the beginning. And I'm excited about that, but I know that it's about to end probably in my third trimester because with Kinnear, I had to wake up like five, six times a night just to go use the restroom. I used to get so upset. Which pregnancy is the hardest? Was the hardest? Um, my hardest pregnancy is the current pregnancy. And so far, right now like in this moment it's not really that hard like it was in the beginning so um i'll explain why that is on my pregnancy update part so just stay tuned in this video and you will see it who was by your side through both pregnancies um of course kelvin was by my side god is by my side um my ancestors is by my side my just my immediate family you know the people who raised me the people who had me that's who's by my side what do you think you're having and who knows the gender so i was supposed to make this video before the gender reveal but now since the gender reveal has already happened i got what i wanted it's a girl but if it was a boy it would have been all right i still would have been happy but i really wanted a girl because like I need a mini me. Kelvin has a mini him. Now I need a mini me. So, yes, teen girl forever, baby. Is it hard carrying a child? Yes and no. Yes, because sometimes it can get challenging and it can get tiring. And especially if you don't have, you know, the help or the support of village, it can be pretty hard but majority of the time it's not as hard because i don't want to say it's not hard because everybody is different but for me it's not hard can y'all believe that do y'all believe that did i make that look believable to you all but no it's not really that hard to carry a child but then again everybody is different so i don't want to tell you something or tell you all something and then y'all get pregnant y'all be like she said it wasn't hard last question what yeah. is the huh i'm almost done what is the differences in your pregnancy well the differences would be i really didn't have any symptoms with my first baby he's a boy but now i have a lot of symptoms hold on y'all Yo, my baby got a piece of chicken. He is something else. He's so cute. You want to get on the camera? No. Okay. So now I'm going to go into my pregnancy update part of my video. Don't be eating all of... Can the mommy have some real quick? Come give me some. <laughs> Come give me some. Come give me some chicken. Okay, guys, <laughs> sorry about that interruption from my baby boy. So now I'm going to go into the pregnancy update part of my um, video. So, yeah, let's get started. So I'm five weeks. I mean, I'm five months currently and currently 22 weeks pregnant. The symptoms that I've been having since the last video. <laughs> Want to get up there? The symptoms I've been having since the last video is a lot of back pain, which actually is sciatic nerve pain. Uh, 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 uh. 
um, sciatic nerve pain. If you don't know what that is, look it up. I don't want to tell you. And then, you know, you go to your doctor saying you got it. And they be like, who told you that? So just look it up. That's nasty. From my understanding, it's when you have really bad back pain and it goes down into your butt and then your legs. And then it make it, um, it makes your legs like hurt really bad. And that's what I was having like. I don't know, probably like last week or the week before last, it was so bad. Like I was even sitting up and my legs and back and butt was still hurting. The only thing that helped me was sitting in the, um, the warm bath. Like I had to do that like two, three times a day in order for me to feel, you know, like myself again. But now it's not um, as bad as it was in the beginning or last week. It's actually gotten better but sometimes I do still feel that pain and because of that I will be starting physical therapy this week um, my doctor recommended me to go to physical therapy and it's also in the same doctor's office as my OBGYN so it's really like a win-win for me because now I can use them and they can help me you know strengthen my pelvis and my back and all the areas that I need, like I said in the beginning, to do this natural birth. The cravings I've been having, which is weird, is omelets. I do not eat omelets at all. Well, I didn't. But now, like, every time I wake up, I crave an omelet. And I also crave KFC. But the KFC is not nothing new. With my last pregnancy, I actually craved KFC a lot. My favorite thing that I get from KFC is the $5 fill-up bowls, the famous bowls. Those are amazing. Like, I love the chicken paired with the mashed potatoes, with the corn, with the gravy. Like, who came up with that? Who came up with that? But whoever did come up with that, y'all did a great job because it's good. Real good. But y'all know what else is good? The Popeye's chicken nuggets. Those are so good. Every time I get them, I have to share with Kinnear because... Every time I eat something, guys, drink something, guys, think about it, he come like some, some, mommy, can I have some? Like, if he knew how to say that, that's exactly what he would say. Mommy, can I have some? We can share whatever. Eat your food, silly rabbit. Silly rabbit. Look at him, y'all. <laughs> Ew, nasty. Nasty. Um, emotionally, I have been way better than I was last month. Um, sometimes, you know, being pregnant, you can have your ups and downs and things like that. And I do have my ups and downs. But overall, emotionally, like, I've been doing good by myself. No friends. And that's how it's going to stay. Um, another update for my pregnancy will be that... Since I found It's a Girl, y'all will be getting way more videos of me like going shopping for her because me and Kelvin decided to buy the clothes and like things like that on our own. So when the baby shower comes, we can just, you know, have things in our registry that people wouldn't think about getting that we really need. Um, this pregnancy, I'm also breastfeeding again, but like I said, every baby is different, so we don't know if I'll be pumping or we don't know if I'll be latching, but we know she's going to be getting some milk from her mama, period. Y'all, now he got a go -gurt. <laughs> Now he has a go -gurt, guys. That is the end of this video. Thank you all for staying to the end of my video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Also, comment down below what kind of videos you want to see. Do you have any symptoms that I have if Bye. you're pregnant? Are you trying to get pregnant if you're not pregnant? Do you want a boy? Do you want a girl? Do you want twins? Do you want triplets? Just start interacting with me, guys. I'm trying to do this whole YouTube thing while being a student, while being a mom, while being a wife taking care of my household and I know it's coming up on my I think it's coming up on my one year anniversary that I've been YouTubing it's coming up on my one year anniversary that I've been YouTubing and I would like to have a hundred subscribers by then or maybe even more just stay tuned for more video guys thank you all for watching Mwah.